<laughs> All right, well, you've seen her as Ling on the Ally McBeal series, and now she hits the big screen in style. As one of the most anticipated movies of the year, Charlie's Angels, a new action comedy, incidentally. Yeah, here's Lucy Liu, everybody. <laughs> I haven't waist, seen a waist that small <laughs> since Scarlett O'Hara. <laughs> this is tidier than Gelman's neck, you know that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, welcome back to New York. You know, you come back as a star, huh? I guess so. I don't. I, I don't know. I just. I just feel, you know, grateful that I have a job. <laughs> oh well, this is this is going to be big. This Charlie's Angels. Oh, the buzz on this movie is very Phenomenal, good. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, you all know Lucy Liu is uh, originally from New York City, from Queens, as a matter of fact. That's right. <laughs> And actually, the first time on, on a set, you were cooking omelets for the crew, right? That's right. When I first uh, moved to L.A., I, was, um, I needed a job, and uh, some people that I met who were really, really kind to me said, hey, we have this job, and you can come, and you can work, uh, you know, cooking breakfast. Mm -hmm. Great. Waking up at 3 o'clock in the morning and going to the set and cooking omelets for the crew. And then, you know, the first day you do it, it's exciting. You know, you're there, you're like, okay, and then you get out of work by 10 o'clock, and you get cash, and then, you, you know, you're running around all day, and then by the time, like, 11 o'clock hits at night, you know, you go to bed, and you cannot wake up the next morning. That's right. You cannot wake up for two days after that, so. It's tough cooking those omelets. Yeah, I mean, just, it was just really difficult to kind of get used to the time zone thing. So then what happened, Lucy? How did you get out of the, uh, from the kitchen into, in front of the camera? I mean, it must have been a long, <laughs> was it a long, a arduous? It's been a long journey. Way. I mean, I think people think, oh, you know, she sort of came here overnight. And I think there's a lot more to it than that. I mean, sure. I did a lot of theater. I did some commercials, I did a lot of episodic television, mm -hmm. and I think you just have to persevere. It's not easy. I mean, nothing is, you know? Had you heard about Charlie's Angels before you got the role? Yeah, I had heard about it when I was younger. I used to play Charlie's Angels when I was younger. Sure, I, but I, I knew that people were, they were looking for somebody, but I just didn't know. I had no expectations when I walked in the door, honestly. I just thought, okay, well... They're looking for somebody. I'm going to go in and meet the girls. And I met Drew and Cameron. Um, they had just come in from training. They had an intensive training session. And I walked in, and we just started hanging out and talking. And we completely forgot about the audition. And we did, so we did some line reading. We read some lines. And there wasn't really a lot but um, at the time. And we just we hit it off. And then they called me. I was, I was driving back, um, back home. And they called me on the cell phone. They're like, we want you to be the third angel. Do you want to be the angel? I was like, yes! Uh, boy. <laughs> I didn't, I, I didn't even, I forgot the whole point of, you know, why I went to begin with. It was really That's great. That's fantastic. They always say, of course, when you have three women on a set that, that there's going to be a lot of friction. Well, you know there was. Problems and... <laughs> you know there were problems. They'll try to cover it up. <laughs> Believe me, there were problems. <laughs> well, now, All right, who didn't get along with her? Who was the bad apple in the tell whole thing? Tell us the truth. Please. I'll tell you the truth. There was absolutely no truth to any of those rumors. I have to say that... We actually didn't know what was going on at the time because when we were working, we were sort of in our little microcosm on our set. And, um, and I was running back and forth doing Alan McBeal and Charlie's Angels, and I hadn't read a newspaper. I had no idea what was going on in the world at all. And so suddenly, I think it was one day, somebody came up to us and said, we're like, you know, cat fighting each other because Drew was forcing me to wear turtlenecks. <laughs> and just totally random, like not even like anything making Why? sense. I don't know. It didn't make any sense. And, um, and that Cameron was having a huge thing about her makeup. And I mean, it was, it was so... They were such random comments that we started laughing immediately, like you guys were. And then we thought, okay, what should we do? Should we hold, you know, hold a press conference about this and, <laughs> and tell everyone, like, you know, how we feel? And, and then we thought, you know what, we're getting caught. Within that time, that entire day, we had gotten so caught up in what other people thought of us that it was kind of silly. And then we sort of said, okay, let's just focus back on the work and let's, let's not care about that. And it really made a difference. I mean, I guess we had to go through it originally, mm -hmm. you know, but... Sure. But we were really serious. We were going to hold a press conference but, about it. But, like anyone cares, but, but I mean, but it was know, big news. You had so much to learn in this movie besides your lines. You had all of these martial arts things to learn. And so, oh my God, so many yeah. action you scenes. Martial arts. How great was that? That was really already... helpful. When, when I went in there, it was eight hours a day, intensive workout in five days a week. You know, after the second hour, you think, I'm never going to survive this. Mm. There is no way. And when, when we first started, I was really energetic and I was excited about it and I felt great. I was like, I'm in great shape. There's no problem. You feel great when you walk home the next day. And the next day when you wake up, 
You cannot move. <laughs> you, I, when I wanted to, you know what? I, I couldn't move. I had to lift exactly. my leg. Over. She couldn't wake up the next day after she cooked up. So now she. <laughs> Two days in a row. When is she going to be happy? Really good for 24 yeah, that's hours. That's when is it. she going to wake up and be happy? <laughs> <laughs> but this was me. I mean, I, we couldn't. I had to lift my leg. I mean, it was horrible. Sure. Well, look, is it the same thing as the TV show where you get instructions from uh, Charlie? Charlie? We do get instructions Who from Charlie. Who plays Charlie? John Forsyth. Oh, John Forsyth yeah. with a great that's voice. amazing. He's yeah. back. It's, a so, great it's voice. such an honor. Sure. He's so, sure. he's so great. great. The angels don't use guns at all, and that's why we train so hard. And we just wanted to, we know a lot of girls and are going to come and see the movie and young kids, and we just didn't want to emphasize that, oh, if they look look upon us in any way with respect and, and, and like, wow, we want to be like that. Sure. We don't want them to, you know, run out and start shooting people. I think that's just not... You just, we want uh, to be responsible about it. Yeah, you just, just too much violence. Just kick them in the groin, that's all. That, that works. That works. That works. All right, let's take a look at a, at a scene now from Charlie's Angels. Here is Alex, played by Lucy, going undercover at the telecommunications satellite network. <laughs> I, I hear it's very, very funny, but smart comedy, too. It is funny. I mean, it's, it's, it's very silly and goofy, and it has yeah. a lot of action. I mean, it was, it was so much fun to make, and I think it sort of... It's sort of reflected on screen, and I hope that people enjoy it as much as we, you know, well, we did. These angels are slightly different, though, from the ones in the 70s. I mean, these represent the women in the year 2000, right? Yeah, we represent, I mean, it's sort of where the new recruits, of, mm -hmm. it's been going on the whole time, and we just happen to be the newest. Uh, new Charlie's there. Angels, new era, going to be a big hit, opens today in theaters all over the country. And Lucy Liu comes out of it a star. Thanks, Lucy. Thanks very much. What an honor it is to be We'll be right back.